So you've probably heard by now that there are six automakers working to try and implement Tesla's gigacasting strategy. But the real issue here at play is why are none of those automakers, Legacy Auto, why are none of them in America or Europe? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. You are watching the channel that, uh, you know, brings you five videos per day and tries to keep it as objective as possible. There's lots of channels out there on YouTube right now who are preaching to a choir, preaching to an audience, preaching to a fans of a certain brand. But of this 640 videos that we've made in the last six and a half to seven months, you'll find that there's a wide range of topics covered. The aim here on this channel is to try to help you understand everything that's going on in the electric automotive industry, in the battery industry, so that when you're at a dinner party with your friends, you really know what you're talking about. No, kidding. But hey, thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's great to see 10,000 new subscribers over the past seven days. And thank you as well to those of you who have jumped on our Patreon account and become supporters of the channel. It makes a huge difference in me being able to make so many videos every day. So the Electric has reported that Tesla's gigacasting strategy will be adopted by half a dozen other automakers. Now I've seen a lot, and I mean a lot of people who don't like Tesla, saying, well, this gigafactory cast, this gigacasting stuff must be rubbish because no one else is doing it. It must be, it's just another stupid Tesla idea that doesn't make any sense. Honestly, I've read this, I would say at least a hundred times by people who don't like Tesla. Now it's good to see that, well, some other smart automotive companies are following in their footsteps. Now the electric reports that Tesla's approach to using giant casting machines, nicknamed gigapresses, to make car bodies with just a few massive casted parts is catching on in the auto industry. Now I made a video about what Tesla's doing at their Austin, Texas Gigafactory and how honestly it is a game changer. And I don't say that lightly. When I say that, I mean it. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Tesla's approach to using these casting machines is a game changer. A Tesla supplier says it is working with about half a dozen other automakers taking the same approach. Over the past few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casted parts that have the capability to greatly simplify manufacturing. Now, the company has acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. They have been deployed at Tesla's factories in the US, Berlin, and China. And then one of the reasons why well, Volkswagen and other automakers, Volkswagen are the only ones that are really man enough to admit to the fact that they're afraid of Tesla and Chinese auto companies as well, they've said, because, well, why can Tesla create a car in 10 hours when it's taking everyone else 30 hours plus? Well, this is one of the reasons. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. That, in my opinion, is one of the key reasons why their automotive margins are 30% and everyone else is fighting over the 8 to 10% margins that they get. That is big. Even if you hate Tesla, even if you hate Elon, you cannot argue with that. Now, earlier this year, a picture of the first single front casting of the Model Y produced at Gigafactory Texas leaked on the internet. And last month, it was reported that Tesla produced the first Model Y with both front and back single piece castings. There's some really, really big advantages to these single piece castings structural rigidity, weight loss, efficiency. I could go on and on. I really, really am impressed by this strategy and I cannot understand why no one in Legacy Auto has implemented it yet. The strategy to greatly reduce the number of pieces to make a car body results in a massive reduction in the complexity of the body line and the capital needed to build the production line. It also brings weight advantage of the vehicle itself, which in turn can improve, or does improve efficiency, However, it's not all an advantage as, well, you know, Tesla, people who don't like Tesla would say, I'm not sure about this, but this is what the electric says. Some people in the industry have been critical of the cost associated with potential repair in the event of an accident. This has led to questions whether Tesla is leading a new way for the auto industry to build cars in the future or if it was a fool's errand. Now, I personally believe if your vehicle gets into a situation where you're, the casting the area, the underbody here is damaged. 
I've never seen a car damaged there in that area and it not be a write-off. I mean, if you have heard of this happening, if you're in the automotive industry and you've seen this section of the car be damaged and it not be a write-off, let me know because I haven't seen that. But it looks like other automakers now are willing to give it a shot, especially some smart automakers in China. The New, York, the New York Times published a report on Lu Song Song, an engineer behind LK Technology, a partner in Tesla's casting technology. Lu said he is working with six Chinese automakers to deploy similar casting technology as soon as next year. I love the humility of these Chinese automakers. People say, oh, they're, they're just copying, they're just copying. And that, you know what? It takes a certain level of humility to recognize if somebody is doing something better than the way you are and say, you know what, sunk cost, we invested in whatever we have, you know what, we need to change, that's better. That to me is not being a copycat, that to me is being smart. Now, Lou said, in addition to Tesla, LK will supply similar giant casting machines to six Chinese companies by early 2022 as more automakers adopt Tesla's way of making cars. Now, however the engineer said, they might run into a few issues. For all of China's progress, it still has a long way to go. LK hopes to deliver the same types of casting machines to many Chinese companies over the next two years. But some of those companies are struggling to find car designers of the type and talent that Tesla has aplenty without the designs. LK can't deliver the machines. Now, this is not someone, as far as I can tell, blowing smoke up Tesla. This is someone just pointing out facts here. Aside from designs, other automakers might also run into some issues with materials. Now, this was an issue that I was thinking about. I was thinking, didn't Tesla have to manufacture some new alloy to make this actually work? Now, Tesla has long invested in material science to develop its own alloys to support such large casting parts. I think it took them a little while to figure this out. The automaker even partnered with SpaceX to share material science talent to develop those alloys. So I'm wondering, these six automakers, what alloys are they using to manufacture these casting parts? I mean, is this part, was that a proprietary metal that Tesla manufactured? Do any of you know? Let me know in the comment section below if you do know. Now, it looks to me as though Tesla is absolutely benefiting by starting with a clean slate in manufacturing. It's a big hindrance, in my opinion, to be a legacy auto manufacturer and just have all this old stuff that eventually you've got to say, well, we have to write it off and get new stuff. And then, well, you often don't do that because you're trying to cut costs. You're trying, to, well, you're trying to appease your shareholders. There's so many different things pulling at you to say, no, 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 do this, do that. I honestly think this clean slate is just such a better place to begin with. Now, it looks like the OEMs aren't laughing at Tesla anymore. And maybe those people criticizing Tesla's gigacastings, which I don't understand you, I think you're mad, Maybe they might be quiet for a little while too. Now, if there are two companies in the world in Legacy Auto that I believe could potentially adopt Giga Castings, they are Volkswagen and Ford. Why? Ford is in position where they're about to build a bunch of new factories. They don't have the tooling yet. As far as I know, they haven't even built the factories yet to make their new EVs. Surely Ford has to be aware that they need to buy new machines to build these vehicles and have to be considering that this is a good option because they're essentially starting from a clean slate. In addition to that, Jim Farley is more than willing to accept Tesla. He said they're the leaders. He is, in my view, saying the right things. And that's one of the key reasons why I put Ford ahead of General Motors right now in terms of where we're gonna see them in 2025. The other person is Herbert Deese. You wanna know why I think that about Herbert Deese? I'll put a few links in the description below to videos I've made about that man. He is a leader. And Volkswagen are lucky to have him, even though they want to fire him, which is insane. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think about these Giga Castings. Should other legacy automakers be using them? Why aren't they? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bye-bye.